Hello everybody, I want to make a quick video, uh, this actually won't be too quick of a video, uh, showing off what kind of customization options are available in the crew. Um, so first, just to get this out of the way, the performance customization options are extremely limited and uh, kind of dumb. Um, so you have to unlock any performance upgrade by completing challenges in, in the world. So if your fuel injection or your air system or your gearbox is uh, not up to par with the rest of the upgrades on your car, you have to find the correct mission to do to actually get that upgrade. You can't just go ahead and buy new upgrades for any of these things. You can't buy new motor cars or tires or anything. Uh, so it's pretty limited and uninteresting. But uh, the visual customization options are actually quite uh, in depth. Tons of different colors. Uh, now, when you're playing this game, do not overlook that you can tab with left bumper and right bumper uh, to different categories of colors. So there's the official colors, metallic, iridescent colors. Let's take a better camera angle. There we go. And these are all very expensive. You can see down below, they're 20,000 bucks each. And after about, oh, I don't know, close to eight hours maybe playing this game so far, uh, I only have 10,000 bucks so these are not something to just blow your money on um oh let's see let's see the other categories so we got metallic iridescent anodized uh kind of glossy metals and then back to the official um stickers can also dramatically change the overall look quite a few different categories um flaming stickers racing stickers ooh, racing stripes rather skulls like these are even more expensive than the paint jobs uh, so something kind of crazy like that that takes over your car is very expensive um, and quite a few of them are just not available uh, for specific car types so not everything is available for every different ride tribal and gothic and back to the flags um, now to the more uh, I don't know why they list interior as one of the first customization options because these are so subtle and you'll never see them unless you're using the uh, the cockpit view on the car, but you can change the color of the leather um, and the stitching on the leather as well. Um, but now this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Um, so the front... So this car right now is a street performance package. And you can see the front bumpers are relatively uninteresting. Well, I mean, they're, they're, they're very subtle differences between all the different customization options. Um, and let's back out. Same thing with the rear bumper. You know, this is a pretty stock looking car. This, this one is designed to be on the street. Um, but if, as you get further into the game, you also unlock different performance packages the different you know there's the street package the dirt package performance raid and circuit and i've only unlocked the dirt so far so if we go to the dirt tuner it's going to dramatically change the look of the car and my customization options so this is what my car looks like now that i have the the dirt package equipped um the color options are all still the same uh the stickers are the same as well but uh, things like the front bumper now have completely different options, um, you know, designed for a more off-road look. So I'm really curious to see what some of the late game, um, you know, level 50 upgrade options look like on some of the kind of basic cars here. So, I mean, they, these look completely different. Um, with any of these options, you can hold right trigger and go to demo mode uh, and get a better look at it without the kind of exploded view of the, uh, of the upgrade part. Um, unfortunately, none of the upgrades have interesting names. It's just rear bumper N2, N3, N4. Uh, you know, for the bumpers, it's just basically exhaust pipe uh, location and styling on that. Front fender, I don't know how to customize that yet. Nothing to buy in that category. Uh, skirts, for the dirt package, there's only one option. Uh, on the street option, there was, or when, when I had the street package equipped, um, there was quite a few options. Uh, rims, there are a ton of rims and a ton of different categories. 
So we got the official category, we got the off-road racing category. And there's 82 different category or 82 different off-road rims available. Um, you can't just you can't buy a rim and then repaint it, which is kind of unfortunate. So if you want, if you're trying to match, uh, you know, white on white or kind of green on green, you may have some trouble doing that. Um, I mean, white on white is easy or black on black, but you know, exotic colors will be tough to do. Um, Off-road rims, kind of more industrial-looking ones. Vintage rims, 100-spoke rims. I haven't found any spinners. <laughs> I looked for a while. Uh, and you can't, it doesn't look like you can adjust the size either. They're all uh, just kind of dependent on what the, the package is. Exotic rims for super sport cars. <laughs> I like that one. Well, this one will put you to sleep. Let's check this one out. That is really trippy. <laughs> Look right into the center. <laughs> Listen to the sound of my voice. Oh, wow, that is really trippy. I might buy those. Oh, except they're very expensive as well, so I won't be buying those. Uh, the side mirrors, again, these are very dependent on uh, what package you have equipped on your car. Not a lot of options right there. Uh, only one uh, rear wing option for the for this package right here there were more on this on the street package and on the hood only a few options as well but again they these differ dramatically with what kind of package you have equipped on your car and there's quite a few different um, car there's like 40 something cars total to choose from so I, honestly so what I've seen so far I, I like the dirt package and which which equipment package you have chosen uh, affects the overall performance of the car and especially like off-road handling and stuff like that so you know the game kind of progresses from street starting in detroit to dirt to i think miami next uh, for the performance um raid i think is las vegas and then finally circuit is going to be los angeles so those are the kind of different sections in the game anyway uh thanks for watching if you this video helped you out please give the video a like it helps me out in return and if you're new to the channel please subscribe for more updates thanks for watching and game on